Welcome students to Foxtrot Lacey. We're here with Doug, and we'll be going further through the wonderful mechanics that would be aging. <laughs> okay. Mm. I mean, we, obviously there will be cobble, but, but aging, aging is interesting. Understandable. Oh, by the way. It's that slow clap, so I know it's the studio name, but... Ah, ah, yes. Mm. Yes, the slow clap. <laughs> Ugh, happy March Matchness, everybody. Um, and... <laughs> that's a weird way to... Okay! <laughs> like, why are we just staring at that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, trust me, I felt the same way when the scene first restarted. I was like, why am I... What is, what is this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, anyway, um... Now, for a little, a little bit of context... See, while Captain K was was doing God Eater th- God Eater Three, uh, I unveiled a skit wherein President, former President Bill Clinton, whether you love him or hate him, was hanging with Scooby Doo and the gang, solving mysteries in the Mystery Machine. I took it to all sorts of weird places, and when I started thinking about that, I was like, you know, I was really proud of that skit. Why don't I sequelize it? And <laughs> here's that sequel. Um, <clears throat> Fred's all, oh wait, no, plot. Semi-plot. Okay. They'll be fighting in a minute, so you'll, you'll be able to come back. Okay. So, wait, do, should I should I start, or should I wait? Uh, you, you go ahead and start, because I mean, most of this is me getting to the warehouse. Okay. I'll fight people, but the, the actual plot's not there yet. Okay. So, um, Fred's all like, uh, gee, gang. Uh, look, it, it, we gotta stop this drug ring. And, like, obviously Bill Clinton, from last time, he was like, hell no, as Amer- it's our duty as Americans to get a piece of the action. That was, the, that was back in the first bit. Now, as they're investigating said drug ring, they come across the ghost. And they're like, Jinkies, look out! It's the ghost of Bob Dole! Man, Bob Dole is hungry for blood. <laughs> oh <Let's, my> God. <laughs> like, zoinks, let's get out of here! That scrappy dude's all like, no way! We can beat him! Da 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 da! Puppy power! Help me, Mr. President! What? I mean, oh, I think that's a little rude, but okay, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> See, the reason why he think, The reason why you might think that's. Why he's saying that is. Okay, he's like. Because. Because Clinton. <laughs> instead. Of helping Scrappy Doo, he unzips his pants and begins peeing on Scrappy Doo. Oh God! <laughs> oh my! Oh my! So here's Scrappy Doo as he's getting peed on. He's all like, <laughs> and Clinton's like, uh. <laughs> She's looking for uh, she's she she's looking for Scrappy Doo to help to help him with the uh, with his pee problem now. Now, smash cut. Okay, just, just jump cut. Uh, I mean, smash cut. It, Scooby, Shaggy, and Bill Clinton—they're smoking weed again. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, seriously, uh, wait, we didn't call the fan base anything. Um, no. <laughs> you want to call them students? Because you're the master. Sifu is master in Chinese. Yeah. And Mandarin, I mean. Yeah. It's fine. So, uh, uh, Sifu is master in Mandarin. Not because Chi- the region of China, they speak, they speak multiple dialects. Anyway. Um, yeah. So. In the last in the last time when I did this uh, when I did this skit, 
Scooby and Shaggy and Scooby Shaggy and President Clinton they were smoking weed. They're doing it again. The only difference is that I'm <laughs> is that they're they're smoking weed while watching Family Matters. <laughs> Like um, like President Clinton, <laughs> who's the kid with the glasses? That's Stephen Q. Urkel. Oh wow, he seems like a cool cat. I love the I love his suspenders and his and his crazy invention. Shut up. He's about to say, did I do that? Did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo, I'm one hundred percent convinced that one of your parents was a horse. <laughs> said pee on me mr president he said help me oh i must hurt him how do you get pee uh, how do you get pee from help hey they're, they're two separate words mr president i don't know how do you get all that stupid shit on your on your face oh wait that's your hair <laughs> like burn <laughs> pass horse dog <laughs> give me some more reaper <laughs> Entirely too much reefer. <laughs> Do it too much. Too much. <laughs> Why well, can't it over? I want to smoke some too. So Shaggy takes a hit, and then he starts taking another hit. Then Bill Clinton slaps Shaggy in the face. He's God just <laughs> quit bogarting it. Horse dog needs some loving. <laughs> Talk about the fact that we came into contact with the ghost of Bob Dole. <laughs> Bullshit. Some guy in a rubber costume. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of rubbers, hey Velma, <laughs> I got a Bob Marley mixtape and some and some condoms. Why don't you say why don't you and me go behind those bushes and play hide the land deal? <laughs> sick of you <laughs> trying to get lucky with me. What you're doing is harassment, and will you stop looking at my breasts? Ah, you should take it as a compliment, baby. <laughs> you look better than Daphne. Daphne's like laughing her ass off. She's like, ha <laughs> no, she doesn't. What did you say, you ginger bitch? I'm just saying, like, you know, just... <laughs> you're, just, you're, you're just... just causing all kinds of evil. <laughs> <laughs> we, I, I'm just saying, you know, Velma, you're just, you're just, you're just chubby. That's all. I'm chubby. You're the one with the fat legs. Hey, I said that. I was the one that told her that. <laughs> Fuck you, you stupid glasses wearing cut. So she slaps Velma, and Velma slaps Daphne back, and pretty soon they start fighting. And like, <laughs> Shaggy's like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Clinton's like, meow. But Fred, what the hell are you doing? What are you talking about? I'm trying to break him up. Don't, don't you dare do that. Look, I, they're my friends. I can't, I can't see them fight. They, I don't want to see them fight like this. Huh. You said uterus. I didn't say uterus. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> that's a, that's the end of that. I intend 
I intend to come up with an ending for this. Because the way... This is solid fucking gold. <laughs> it is! Scrap... Just the thought of Scrappy-Doo getting peed on. <laughs> Just your day. I hope I made yours. Well, for the record... <laughs> the, for the record, the only reason why I said I'd open it up uh, with the, the Clinton skit... Granted, yes... I brought this up in the Slab Lounge, but I honestly was going to talk about the, the Clinton bit in another episode of When You Return to God Eater. However, because you were just all, because you were talking about like how that one person nearly pissed you off, um, I was just all like, you know what, yeah, I'll, I'll just talk about it now. <laughs> yeah, so that way I can make... Yeah. Oh, wow! Is the pipe... Yeah, the pipe's getting deformed. That's actually... Is that real-time def- deformation? That's awesome. Oh, okay. Like, no, so, it's... Like, it, anything you do, it does, it will break eventually. Because even a blade will eventually break. Yeah, basically what they did... Because that... I, I, I kind of figured how they did it. It's kind of like how they do vehicle deformation. Essentially, what they do is they rig the... They rig the, 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 the weapons. And they would do, like, a line trace. And based on what area of the body was hit, the, the pipe itself would deform based on that by... Um, Moving the vertices inward. It's a pain in the ass to do, though. It's kind of like disemboweling. Or well, disem- but they made it to a ridiculous detail, too, because there's actually a difference between if you're beating them with the light attack or the heavy attack. Because if you do use the heavy attack, it tends to dent it quicker. Yeah. So they actually paid attention to those mechanics. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <coughs> That's awesome. But, um, um... It's, it's kind of like dismembering, like chopping off body parts. That thing's a pain in the ass to do. Uh, yeah. Ugh, I did it once. I did it once. Um, when, because in insane shooting, right, one of the optional dudes you could fight is the Black Knight dude. And when I was telling this to Aim, he was like, dude, we could totally fucking um, uh, Monty Python it. Makes sense. It, ob- it absolutely makes sense because one of the weapons you have is a sword gun that grows over time when the the further away it is, which again makes sense. Ah. Yeah. So you know, using the sword gun would would you know chop off body parts. Problem with that is after finding out just how much work goes into dismembering, and on top of that, you have to alter the character animations, which I can't do. And aim nah, aim said he sucks at. Oh, look at me. Even I am. I don't. Mm. I- <laughs> well, I guess this breathes new life to the 3D brawling uh, genre, then. Because this is a 3D yeah, brawler. I like. Yeah, because that's why I liked that, that camera angle changed that way. And I was like, oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Like, as I said, they put a lot of thought into each part that they did for this game. So I get the very... But it, it also, like, like, like I said, it holds even more when I look at it now and then I look at Solver and I'm like... Yeah, both were made by Slowpoint. Absolver was made first, and then they perfected it and went to see them. Yeah. A lot of these, because of Absolver, the weapons are the same. Randomly pick up a weapon, eventually the damage will break that weapon, unless it's evil weapon. Okay. The countering systems are still virtually the same, so I was like, I still think that's the prototype before they went to see them. Oh, okay. Ung Bok don't got shit on you. <laughs> Yeah, Ung Bok the Doug, Doug, how dare you? Ung Bok was the Thai warrior. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ung Bok. Fuck that. <laughs> to be fair, John, uh, Tony Jai? Tony Ja. Tony Ja. Yeah. No, him as a martial artist. No, he is Because mm-hmm. I've seen other stuff, and he, he is amazing. It's just Ung Bok got a lot of acclaim, and it didn't bring as much hype as it. It's not bad. No. But Well, to be fair, I, th- I still think the... Br- the uh, mother of his movies that don't even get spoken about the time that he's fucking insane. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I still think The Protector is better than Ung Bak, but, um... Um... I think there was, like, a video I, I of like him... I like Ung Bak in the sense of, of... the story of how the main character is going. I, I guess. It's like the whole, oh, my thing was taken from my village and I'm going to go reclaim it. 
and then the whole going to the city and learning about it. like all that I like that part of it because that makes sense yeah someone took something from your culture you went to go get it back you're going to a foreign place and you suddenly have to figure out how the fuck to function mm. like in that aspect it's not a bad story but it's just like the way they hyped it was like it's gonna be the first act like you would have thought it was fucking Street Fighter the fucking movie the way they hyped it yeah yeah. And then you get to them and it's like, there's a lot more talking in this movie than I thought. There's, there's a lot of traveling. <laughs> yeah, oh there's god. A lot, a lot of staring at this elephant. God, you want to talk about a lot more talking, fucking Shenmue anime, but like, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, I was gonna say, uh, um, because like, um, I think in terms of like how hard, if you're wondering how hardcore Tony Ja is, uh, if I remember correctly, I did, I think there was a video floating around on YouTube about of him literally kicking down a bamboo tree. And if you're what like uh if you're wondering um uh how hard it is to kick out to, to literally kick use your shin to kick down a bamboo tree. I mean like chopping that fucking wood with your leg. Just um bamboo looks frail, but it is ridiculously dangerous. Yes. Even in back in Texas, in my backyard, we had bamboo. Like, for some weird reason, there's like, I guess somebody planted it that way, but basically what would have normally been a fence for our backyard mm -hmm. was bamboo in a lot. So every so often, we would have to go out there and cut the fucking bamboo down. And just, oh. oh, okay. Yeah, no, bamboo's no joke. It's, it, you don't just go, oh, I'm gonna just swing this axe and cut. No, bamboo will catch that and hold your fucking axe. Jesus. So, yeah. Kicking bamboo down is, is actually a big beat. Yes, yes it is. And as you've seen, we've tested out the first resurrection system. Yeah. I gained one year of life. Yeah, now she's dead for good. I've gained two years of life. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, because I later found out, because that's how that works, too. That's what those coins are. They're the amount of years that you have. Yeah. So if I get to coin five, and I'm fighting, and for some reason I'm still going, and capable to do it, when I come back, I'm adding five years. Wow, I like that animation. Oh, wow, the takedowns, they don't actually... Okay, there's no guarantee of it actually... Okay, I can get behind this. Yeah, I, I found that out, too. Like, you can think it's going to be instant. Apparently, if they're not weak enough, it doesn't count. They'll just be like, no, and then come back to fight you. Because that's not the first one that does this. Yeah. That was awesome, And then dude. also that. What? Apparently, if your score goes up, you'll slowly start to get those back instead of having to have the normal count. So I can get back down to one or two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like we're in a post-apocalyptic society, but in, real in reality, aliens. <laughs> I, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, you took a really hard turn uh, in today's Slab Lounge. I'm not against it. I'm not judging. I was just all, like, surprised. <laughs> That was, that was, that was really, that was a hard turn, man. Well, like I said, it, it, it was just, we happen to be on the subject. It's normally a thing that bugs me that I can't gripe about in normal life context. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, I got a moment. Because that, that is a thing. Taking people out of context is one of the most annoying things to me. Especially mm. when the context is fake. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one thing if you take it out of context because you didn't know the rest of the context. Okay, you didn't know. But when you're aware there's other context and you pick what you want mm -hmm. and then try to pretend like the rest of it, oh no, that, that infuriates me. And people do that to me in a natural like day cycle. I can say something and then of all the things I say, they'll pick one thing to try and refute me on. But that one thing they pick doesn't function without all the other things. So they have to ignore everything else to argue about that one thing. And I'm just like, why are you doing this? Like, you know. Oh, okay. So, so that's just, it's just,
it's that kind of thing. Because, like, if you say, oh, well, I was going to go to the store and go pick this up. Okay. And then you tell somebody that. But you didn't go to the store. And then later on, they come to your, well, you said you were going to go to the store. I said I planned to. And then I also said I didn't for these reasons. <laughs> but you said you were going to, why are we fucking arguing? Like, <laughs> it's the quickest way to change because it's treating, like, what I'm saying is suddenly invalidated by the fact that the situation changed. Even though I acknowledge that the situation changed. Mm -hmm. And so when someone does that, it's just kind of like, so you're just not listening to the words he's saying. And so then it immediately pisses me off. Yeah. Because it's, I, it's just a history of people ignoring what my actual words are as opposed to what they interpret my words to be. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why you got that whole diatribe about me putting that in my will. Um... <laughs> Watch the slap lounge, okay. people. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put a card. Yeah. It's, it would take too much time to go over that rant. Mm -hmm. just, just, just go to it. Uh, yeah, just go, just watch the damn slap lounge. What? I actually took the time to update our um, Spotify. So technically, if you've not been able to catch any of the previous ones on YouTube, if you're mobile and roaming around, Spotify does have our, pod our podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Because they assume, oh, I gotta load it. And it's like, no, there's other options. <laughs> yeah. I was actually debating whether or not I should, uh, like, ask you to take a, take down our Spotify because of, you know, Rogan. With everything going on. Yeah, with Joe Rogan. Yeah. I, I, I've not known where I've stood on it yet because I've kind of been waiting to see how Spotify's handling it, too. Well, they are kind of, they wow, that dude. like they're trying to make adjustments, but they're gonna... What the uh, fuck? Uh, I mean, like, he looks like the butcher dude from, um, uh, uh, Left for Dead. Um, God, what the hell is it called? Why can't I think of it? <sighs> dead Rising. You're like, those two. Those two. Wait, you're dead already? Oh. Wait. He's dead already. Oh, okay. Fuck him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you showed him. Uh, oh, him up like he was He's Wait, does that mean you got your age back, or is that, like... No, I just, I put the counter back. Yeah. No, so if okay. I die, I would go back to only one year, instead of having all my years go back up. Okay. So that's how that score works. If your score hits a certain point, it winds down your years that you've been aged from death. Oh, okay. But it doesn't remove your age. Your age is still there. It's just, if you die again, you won't gain as So it kind of keeps you, I guess you could say that's your, your inspiration, or I guess more aspiration, um, more your aspiration to keep your combos high, because it'll keep your age counter low, mm -hmm. so that you can try and beat the game at a lower age. Oh, okay. Because there's apparently specific trophies, because there's one trophy that's, like, you beat the game being younger than 50, and then there's another trophy, which is like... You beat the game still in your twenties. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, now that, that that's that's just yeah. a typical like that's like uh the Deus Ex achievement of not alerting anybody, any guard at all. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna fucking aspire yeah. for that. That's bullshit. I I mean I might aspire for it after I get everything else done, but that is not top priority. Mm. Like that's after I figured out the game enough that I actually know how to pick again. Right now, I'm still, the game's still throwing mechanics in where they're like, hey, you want to parry this? And it'll be like, no, it'll be a counter parry. We just sell it. And they're like, oh, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Ouch. I do admit, I don't use the environment nearly as much as I can. Oh, that's fine. You're still new to this, so. I was like, there's the mechanics to slide across the table and do all that stuff. And I was just like, well, usually I'm just like, if I beat you down, I don't have to deal with that. Well, again, dude. Again, dude. Number one, you're still you're still new to this. Two, how much time did you actually spend in the lab? There has been no lab. The 
the lab was literally the beginning segment in the first video where they took us to the train. Yeah, exactly. So this is just me. This is literally me first playing, going straight through it, with just the skills that I've acquired with the game tells me. Yeah, I mean, like, so, again, it's just, you can't, you can't. Yeah. Ouch. Well, I wasn't, like, I, I'm not giving it full disclosure because this isn't like a, this playthrough is not my whole, I want to test every mechanic out. It's more of a, let's see how game runs. And then after I beat the game, yeah, I'll go back on a harder mode and I'll probably push things. Mm-hmm. Like, let's see what the fuck I can do. Like, but I'd like to learn all the mechanics first. Plus, I still haven't really unlocked a bunch of moves, so that's the main reason why I haven't went to the lab, so to speak. Because I could just go back to my base, use that thing, and practice as much as I want to, but I still have most of my beginnings, so going to the lab's kind of pointless. But I'm still going to be doing what I'm doing. Yeah. So, so, once I get some more moves, I'll probably pop in there more to test them out, because I haven't even fully tested what is technically the throw mechanic in the game. It exists, but it's specific. I haven't had a way to really do because you have to stun them to do it, which means you have to be aware of when your combo's in so that you can tell they're stunned. Yeah. You can't just be like, punch, 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 because you'll just, you'll skip your chance for a throw. And if you knock them out of the stun by hitting them, you still can't throw. Oh, shit. That's a counter. So, as I said, it's, it's, but I'm, I'm really, like I said, I love the mechanics. I love how fluid it is. I, I have no complaints about the game. So, Anything that I would complain about is my own skill. Like, I fuck up a parry. Okay, that's my fault. Like, I didn't do it. <clears throat> you can't blame the game on it because the guy gave the tell, like, ten minutes away. He lifted the pipe and was like, I'm gonna hit you. And then I fucked up the parry. That's totally my fault. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. So as I said, I have, no, I have no gripes with the game so far at all. In nothing. Yeah. Like, I have to admit, this kind of the this combat system I can dig a lot more than the Arkham ones. Yeah. The, yeah. Um, yeah, gee, I wonder if that's the... <laughs> I was like, wait, how are these keys used for... Oh, the, there's that huge metal door. I didn't even notice that. That's <laughs> where they keep their dirty money. Mm-hmm. Ugh. But I at least give the game credit because technically... There's a locked door. There's that key, right? Mm Mm-hmm. The game didn't say a specific person had the key. Oh. Someone has the key. It didn't tell me who. And I actually admire that. Because in a base where there's secret people that you just broke in, how the fuck would you know which one was holding the key? Well, that's when you just have to use detective vision. Right. No. No, you use simple vision. Your way through by beating everybody <laughs> you see- down until he show up. <laughs> you see who you way through. I love that. That's, that's what you do. Yeah. That's, that's literally how it, it didn't give me any hint who has the key. So I don't know if it's a boss character. I don't know if it's a peon. I don't know if it's just sitting on a desk in someone's room. The game was just like, the door is locked. Find it. <laughs> and I give it credit because this is a game where I literally broke into someone's base. So yeah, I shouldn't know where the fuck it is. That is true. But my god, do I... It's whole Ninja Gaiden thing where it's like you kick open a fucking chest and there's a map. And you're like, who the fuck put this map in here? Why? In this game, they're like, no. There is no map. Figure out who the fuck has the key. And I'm like, alright. That's real world building. I need to find out who the hell has it. Yeah. So, I'm get- so how do you switch targets? You just move over to that target. Oh. Like, I don't I don't have to actually change my lock. I can change her direction, and when she turns, she will face the next opponent. So mid-combo, I can do a different direction, and she'll turn and try to attack the person behind her if I'm still continuing the combo. It just flows either way. You don't have to change it. Yeah. That's how Absolver does. When you're in combat mode, you just face whoever you're going to hit. You just hit that direction and you will turn and automatically start fighting whoever's in that direction. I was going to say, like, how do you, you do those focus attacks? Hmm? I was going to say, how do you do those focus attacks? Um, they are L2 
She's keeping up rather well. Is it Mary? Is your hair a little longer? It, it is, but I, I assume maybe that's part of the aging process. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Because I was like, my hair was tied up and then I aged, so of course it's going to fuck up. Yeah. Fair enough, yeah. Because oh. guy-wise, his model already shows that. But like, if he gets long hair, they're just like, oh, long hair dude. So why yeah. would you suddenly be like, oh, woman, she must prop her hair up because hair. <laughs> mm-hmm. And let's not forget what happens when the, when the, when the baps decide to sag. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. All that combat skill is going to fail. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta say, I like the I like this combat more than Shenmue Three because God knows Shenmue Three. Uh, you know how combat works in Shenmue Three? You have to use the right analog stick to uh, perform special moves. I'm like, dude, come the fuck on! Don't do that to me. I don't. Why would you put it as the right analog? I don't know. Why do Why do games think that? I don't know. I mean, like, it's weird. Why do games insist on using the right analog stick for combat? I mean, like, it didn't work in two human. It's not going to work. In, it didn't work in Shenmue 3. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, oh the flashbacks. Oh. I, I had such hopes for that game, and then I went into that combat, and I was just like, what is this madness? Uh, well, I never played it. But... I can't control any direction. Wow, okay. Well, that dude went down. Actually, back in the when we were in college, I played 2Q. When I was in the dorm, I had actually gotten it from our library and oh. played it at one point, I believe. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was that was how I discovered the horribleness of it. Because I took time to rent it from the school library, and I was just like, oh, no wonder no one talks about this anymore. Oh. Yeah. But then again, uh, Silicon Knights, they, 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 they suck. <laughs> or rather, oh, the... I think that I wish it gotten a lot more cred, and, and possibly... Don't you dare say Eternal like Darkness. A sequel to push the mechanics would have been like Phantom. Okay. Uh, I, I swear to God, if you were going to say Eternal Darkness, I'd be like, dude. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, fuck that game. But, but Phantom Dust. Phantom Dust, I actually liked that game a lot, and I just feel like they didn't put enough into it, and it had gotten like a second where they could have been more innovative, it'd have been good. Because mm -hmm. it actually was a fun game. The mechanics were nice. It was a little... It was a little... Uh, jaggy. But in that time frame, it made sense why it was jaggy. People were still learning how to do shit. So. Yeah. Hell, I wish Fighting Force comes back. I'm original Fighting Force. Yeah. Not so much Fighting Force. Well, Fighting Force 2, I never actually... I don't think I played Fighting Force 2, because I honestly don't remember what Fighting you Force 2 to. was about. Okay. You, you don't need to. You, yeah. you get put down to one character, and then it becomes more like Fighting Force if it's attempting to be Metal Gear Solid. What? They took all the other characters yeah. out? Yeah, you're one character. You're going through the buildings, dealing with stuff as the one person. You still have the fighting mechanics as you would for Fighting Force, but you're one character. And technically, you can't sneak, because there's moments where you need to not be noticed. But then when you are noticed, you go into, you know, fighting force brawler mode. 
Sounds like it, man. I didn't know. I honestly don't the remember. The story wasn't that great. The mechanics were subpar. Like, it's just, it's just trash. <laughs> but you know what? That's next up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that depressing note of Fighting Force 2. <laughs> don't worry. I'll leave them. I'll leave everyone. Oh, go ahead. I'll leave everybody on a high note. The Clinton giggle. 